Hi everybody! Today we are going to talk about the last instrument family as we are beginning to close out the school year. And the last family that we have to talk about is the percussion family. Now, a lot of the instruments that we play in our music classroom are percussion instruments, and I have some of them here to remind you of what instruments they are, but there are also more percussion instruments that are included in an orchestra. So the percussion family has its own house on the street that we've been talking about because it is one family. So the percussion family includes well-known instruments like the drums and cymbals. So we have different types of drums here and we have the cymbals as well as less common instruments like shakers and sleigh bells. Musicians play these instruments by shaking or scraping them or by striking them with their hands, sticks, or mallets. Some percussion instruments produce different pitches and some are non-pitched. Because the piano, like other percussion instruments, helps create and maintain rhythm in a musical composition, it is considered part of the percussion family. So the piano is actually a percussion instrument um, because it helps keep the beat and the tempo. So it said that there are pitched instruments and non-pitched instruments. When they say that, pitched instruments are something that we can match with our voice. So when we sing in class, we use the piano to know what note we're going to sing. So it can go up high, it can go up low or down low. Um, same with the xylophone. The xylophone has high sounds and low sounds. So those are pitched percussion instruments. And then non-pitched percussion instruments always make the same sound. So they don't go up high, they don't go down low, they just stay in the same area. So we have the piano, the bass drum, the xylophone, the bongos, the cymbals, and the snare drum. Playing with toys, it says. Moving around and playing with toys on stage is acceptable. A lot of people like percussion because of this. If you're a percussionist, percussionists often play multiple instruments scattered around the stage. Unusual percussion instruments, especially smaller instruments, and those used for special sound effects are known as toys or auxiliary percussion. The percussion section is placed behind the orchestra so the players can move freely without distracting other musicians. Now, a lot of the instruments that we play in the music classroom are those auxiliary, I don't like to call them toys because they're not toys, so we're going to call them auxiliary instruments because it's not like a toy that you play at, with at home. They do cost a decent amount of money and we don't want to break them, right? So some of those include the tambourine, I can't remember the name of this, but it makes kind of like a scraping noise. Um, we've got some sleigh bells and the maracas. So I brought some of our instruments home. So some other auxiliary instruments would be rhythm sticks. And you tap them together and they make sound and they are a non-pitched percussion instrument because they do not go high, they do not go low, they stay the same. Another one is the triangle. And it is also a non-pitched percussion instrument. We have the tambourine, which you can either shake or you can tap. Or if you have a really nice one, you use your thumb and you go around and it makes a really cool sound, but I don't have one of those. There are sand blocks, which have sandpaper on one side and they make a scraping noise. Blocks. Egg shakers, which you have your own egg shaker at home if you did the make your own maraca or egg shaker video. And they make a shaking sound, kind of like a snake. 
And then last but not least, I have my hand drum, which I like to use for different movement activities and keeping a steady beat. Um, and then other percussion instruments that we have in the classroom, we have my wood blocks that are on that stand and there's four or five of them across and I hit those with a mallet. We have our bigger instruments, your, all of your guys' favorites, um, the xylophones and the glockenspiels. Boom whackers are a percussion instrument because you either hit them on your hand or you hit them on the ground. And then what am I forgetting? Oh, bucket drums. Bucket drums are considered a percussion instrument too. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the percussion family. And um, that is all of our families. So we covered, in the last couple weeks, we've covered the percussion family, which we did today. We did the woodwind family last week where you saw Miss Hatch play the flute and the piccolo. Um, we did the string family a long time ago and you got to draw a violin. And then we also did the brass family where Mrs. Sony taught you how to draw a trumpet. So I hope you enjoyed learning about the instruments of the orchestra and their families. Um, and I will see you soon.